I spend most of my time thinking about brain imaging in Parkinson's disease. Um, and most of us will be familiar with Parkinson's through Muhammad Ali or Michael J. Fox, and we'll be familiar with their motor symptoms, with the tremor and the slowness of movement and just difficulties in general. But what we may not be familiar with, and which is also a problem, is their potential difficulties with mental processes and thinking. Um, and we may not be aware that many patients with Parkinson's disease will go on to develop dementia. But the problem is we really don't know the timing of when that would happen. And that can happen anywhere from a year or two years after diagnosis to 20 or 25 years after diagnosis. And we really have no idea who is at risk. So what I'm really trying to do and interested in is using brain imaging techniques to, to scan the brains of patients with Parkinson's disease and extract as much information as we can from those images to see if we can then provide any information about who is at risk for developing dementia in the near, in the near future or, or can we actually pick out those patients who, who will develop dementia in the near future. The idea is if we're able to identify those patients who are at an increased risk of dementia, we can then select those patients and enter them into new treatment trials, right? so new pharmaceutical or other treatments um, which we're trialing with the intention of um, ultimately preventing but hopefully at least delaying the development of dementia.